then I will have all red lights. But because I want a red light, I can't get a red light. Today, I have a doctor's appointment, a physical. So, I did my blood work on last week, and my physical is today. So, I was able to get my blood work out the way for my visit, and hopefully, everything goes well. Everything goes well. I don't know what's wrong with these cars today. Why they're not driving? They're just like, Monday morning is the worst day to be out. Because these people are driving like um, they have nowhere to go. I'm running late for my doctor's appointment. My doctor appointment is at 10.15. It is 9.15. I have an hour to get there. So y'all pray for me that I get there safe and sound. And yeah, that is what I am doing. And then when I leave the doctor appointment... I have a couple of stores I need to run into. Nothing major, but I have a couple of stores I need to run into. So how is everybody doing? What have y'all been up to? Oh my God, I have been missing you guys. I know I have been MIA. Guys, I have been doing so much. Um, just around the house stuff, just like cleaning and working. And my camera keeps falling. I may have to take it off the tripod. But, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Take it off the tripod and sit it over there so that it won't keep falling and it don't break because I need my camera. It's on its last leg as it is. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. But, anywho, before I do that, so I'll do that at the red light once I get a red light. Seems like when you want to get a red light, you can't get a red light, right? It's like when I get to the red light, I'll put on my eyeliner or when I get to my red light, I'll put on my lipstick or when I get to the red light, I'll do this. And it's like you can never get to the red light because now all the lights are green lights. But if, um, if I didn't want a red light, then I will have all red lights. But because I want a red light, I can't get a red light is what I was trying to say yes so guys I, I've got a red light so I'm gonna take you off the tripod and just sit you on the dashboard yeah I'll do that now okay much better so yes so I am headed to my doctor's appointment. Um, as I was stating earlier, I didn't eat anything because I was rushing. Although I woke up on time, I woke up at seven o'clock and it's just like at the last minute, you just get to brush and I made my bed. I didn't fix me any breakfast due to the fact I didn't know if she was gonna need to take any more blood work. So, so I'm like, you know what? I'll pass on the breakfast this morning and I'll eat when I get out of the doctor's office so um in case I had to take blood work I wanted to fast and not eat anything so I have me a bottle of water and I have me an organic banana that I'll eat once I'm out of the doctor's office and yeah so now I get stopped by red lights hmm that's a conspiracy y'all but anyway guys so yeah so I am actually I needed to call my husband to let him know I was done guys I got so much coming up these next couple of weeks oh my god I'm actually um, preparing for a couple of trips and I don't know about y'all but when I have OCD okay so I have OCD COVID is going on. I have bad anxiety. 
so with all three of those things going on and you're trying to go on a trip what it is like my stress level is like on a 20. i am like omg deborah so i have to go home and start my packing i actually have to go home and do my hair once i run to the couple of stores that i need to go to <clears throat> i want to dye my hair get my hair right and i was looking for my tweezers i couldn't find my tweezers because i got some whiskers growing out of my mo on my side of my cheek so i wanted to pluck those thank god for our mask nobody will see it but still i wanted to pluck them but i couldn't find it so i'm actually going to stop at target on my way home although i went yesterday and picked up um the things that i needed for my trip so like deodorant you know um, your essentials so i picked that up and i will pack sometime this evening and um i have to buy me some more revlon tweezers because those are the only ones that are really really good and sturdy and they can rip my hair and pull them out so I have to buy me another one of those. I should have made me a list. Maybe while I'm at the doctor's office, I can sit down in my phone and make me a list. I also need to make a list as far as what I need to pack. Do y'all do that? Because during COVID, you want to make sure you have everything that you need because y'all know I ain't trying to catch nothing out here. So I have to wipe everything down. I have to spray everything down. You know what? I'm going to turn and get off of this street. it was traffic up there but anyway so um so yes yeah, so i have to make a list as far as what i have to bring with me for traveling and make sure that i have everything because i have so much to pack and i want to make sure that i don't leave anything because you know going into a hotel room you just want to make sure that you have everything especially wiping down things and making sure everything is correct and I don't know why this car pulled up on the side of me. I guess he's seeing me talking. And I guess he probably think, who is this crazy lady talking to? But I mean, you do have Bluetooth in the car now that you can speak on the phone. So, hello. I want to make sure it wasn't the police. But I don't have a phone in my hand. So, what would you do? Pull me over for talking in the car? But anyway, so I have to... Uh, and it just keep pulling up closer and closer and closer to see who am I talking to it's like get out of my combo I'm not talking to you yeah so anyway <clears throat> so I have to go home and uh, once I'm finished with doing my hair and oh I'm right next to Southwest Airport Once I get home, I have to get all my stuff ready for my trip. And I have to, I need to create me a checklist of things that are needed for this trip. So, although I will be packing very light, I don't think where we're going, I'm going to need anything heavy. So, that's a blessing. Because it will make room for my essential items that I will need. My husband already told me, Deborah. I hope you don't bring all those dry towels and towels. <clears throat> y'all, when y'all go on a trip, do y'all have to take y'all home towels and face towels and dry towels? I have to. I cannot use hotel towels. I cannot use, um, I cannot use hotel towels to wash up and to dry my face so i have to have a my face towel to dry my face i can't use a hotel towel i can use a hotel towel to dry my body off i'm not uh sometimes i mean i it's a stretch it depends on where i'm at i don't know why it depends on where i'm at i don't for the most part i don't use dry towels at the hotel i use my own dry towel i use my own everything so i told y'all my ocd is like on 20 i don't know why i thought this was archer this is not archer this is 55th street i need to get off of this street um so i'll turn here 
and go down to Archer. I am making this trip to the doctor office much more um, longer than it has to be. So I'll take Archer down and then. I don't know why my doctor office is so freaking far. I need to get one that is closer to the house. But I just love this doctor. Or not the doctor, actually my doctor. I'm all over the place today, ain't I y'all? But um, so yeah, so I have a new doctor. My doctor that I had, I used to love him, Dr. Carpenter. He resigned and he's at a different medical um, facility. Um, due to uh, a lot of issues that he was having over there at where I was going. So he resigned there. Um, had a lot to do with pay and they didn't want to pay him for his work. So he was like, deuces, <laughs> which I do not blame him. So he's gone. So now I had to go with another doctor at that uh, facility. But no worries because I used to have her as my doctor way back in the day and then um, I ended up getting another doctor Dr. Barnes who he retired um, really 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 gentle old gentleman uh, he was a black physician and he was so nice and very 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 thorough I used to love Dr. Barnes and then um, he left so then Dr. Carpenter took his patients or took his place and so when Dr. Carpenter took his place or didn't really well he did replace him so I ended up going to him and so now I'm back to Dr. McGinnis so yeah so that's why I'm headed to the doctor's office to get my annual checkup which is very important y'all so I gotta do that and then I need to go to Target so while I'm in the doctor's office like I said I'm going to um make me a list I think of the things that I, items I need to pick up I know one is the tweezers I don't need to get much because like I said I got everything yesterday but I do need to get that and um, <clears throat> I think that's about it y'all I think that is about it so today's supposed to be beautiful here in Chicago. It's supposed to be like 60 something, 62, the low 60s I believe, uh, which is fantastic. And y'all with uh, these high flashes, oh my God. I'm just like, oh, I get hot so quick. I was getting ready for the office for the my appointment this morning and I just all of a sudden got so hot I was like oh my god I gotta get out this house I just grabbed my purse and I was like oh my god I hope I have everything because I gotta go I'm hot do y'all get like that what are y'all up to what y'all doing y'all have any plans the spring vacations are coming up um y'all have any spring vacations y'all going on spring trips what do y'all have so yeah, so I guess I've been talking for quite some time now because my camera just shut off. So I'll go ahead and shut up. And I will just take y'all on my journey of my day with me today, y'all. How about that? How about that? And I didn't even have any coffee today and I'm like on 10. So yeah.
okay guys just get back in the car oh my god that was a long visit um, I washed my hands in there but you know you can never be too safe so get my hand sanitizer I'm so hungry it is 1121 oh my god I'm hungry I'm sitting there my stomach is just growling oh Jesus Some, oh, Kleenex. In my pocket. The mask on my nose run like crazy. Huh. <laughs> oh, that lamp. So everything was good. My blood work, hemoglobin was good. My uh, cholesterol was perfect. My vitamin D was good, was normal. My um, B12 was good. So she told me to keep doing what I'm doing. And yeah. So now I am on my way to Target into Sally Beauty Supply Store. I'm so hungry. Hello? Hey, babe. What the problem yeah? Just left. Whew. What's going on, man? I said I just left the doctor's office. Uh, she gave you a clean bill of health. She gave me a clean bill of health. She said everything. My vitamin D is good. My hemoglobin is good. My B12 is good. My cholesterol is perfect. She said whatever you're doing, Miss Crowder, keep doing it. She said all your numbers are perfect. Wow. I asked about my blood pressure being at 110. She said that is perfect. She said we, if your blood pressure was at one, the lower the number, the better. She said, we don't right. want a high number. She said, so 110 is perfect. That's all good. That's all right. What was it when you went and got a check? 110 over 76 or 78. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, what's going on with you? Uh, I got some stuff going on. She said, you are good. She went over my back pain and stuff with me. She said, she think that's just a muscle um, sprain. She said, she want me to stretch. She said, if you get a good massage, it may help. And so I said, I got one of those coming up. <laughs> uh -huh. So she said, but you need, she said, you really need to stretch your body. I asked her about my weight. I said, what's the perfect weight? She said, you are at perfect weight for your age. And she said, actually, she said, you're good. She said, a lot of women will want to be at your uh, weight. Mine's is at 151. She said, your weight is perfect. So, I said, I thought it was like 135. She said, anywhere between 120 and one, uh, 159 is good for a woman my age. Okay. So, she said, everything is good. Uh, what else is there going on? Oh, nothing. Get ready to leave up out of here. Oh, you see that? Yep. Just, I just leave. I just was eating my banana. I was hungry. Hey, do you remember the name of that transport company it shipped here across North Carolina? Yep. It was called. Um, I actually just looked it up for her yesterday. Uh, I said I actually just looked it up for her yesterday. What? What now? What you want to do now? From when she moved to Florida, I mean Atlanta, I mean um, Houston, she wanted to know it, but she didn't want to drive her car. Uh, Who getting ready to move? Oh, this little boy, my partner. Oh, uh, I tell you, it was. Name, give it to me. Okay. Something going on with my phone. Crazy. Oh, I call the uh, the uh, mortgage company. Yeah, and the uh, mortgage company. 
fucking mortgage. And they said they see both of us, and she said it's going to be two. I said, yeah, because I said, but we can't see the other one. Right. And so the email that it took me was going to take 48 hours. Oh, okay. This I was on the phone, I said, maybe I need to get on a desktop, and I'll see if I can get it and bring it up. I'll try your desktop when I get in. Yeah, but it should have been the same. Right, but I can't bring it up on the, on the tampon. It can it, it be to another uh, site of it. I'm like... Can't get it. But you downloaded it only showed that one. Mm -hmm. well, she said she see both of them. She gave me the number for the other one too. Yeah. Well, I said, but yeah, I need both of them though. Oh, excuse me. Yep, so how's everything else? Everything else is good. You got the info on your phone? For the car place? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bringing it up now. My keyboard won't come up. Let me hang up. I'm going to call you right back with it. All right. All right, okay. bye-bye. Tiara. Um, Tiara, do you know the name of that car place for that um, transport? The one that I gave you? I think so. Your daddy wanted it. And one of his partners wanted it. What was the name of it? Runner. Okay, cool. All right, you at work? Oh, uh, when you start work? At 2:30. Oh, I don't know why I thought it was 11:30. Okay, then. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye bye. Yeah, Roadrunner Transporters. Roadrunner Transporters. Yeah. Hey, but text it. Uh, send it to me, then I'll just send it to the phone. Okay. I I try to. Um, my phone right. won't come up. Okay then. All right, then. All right, bye. All right. Okay guys, so my banana had a dark spot on it, so I don't like them when they have the dark spot on them. So now I am headed to Target though, at least I ate a little bite, and I need to go there into Sally Beauty Supply Store and go home and warm up me some food yesterday i cooked me some pot roast macaroni and cheese sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and today i'm gonna go have some leftovers <laughs> Hey guys, so I just made it back home. Thank God, oh my God, I'm so tired. But I'll go through a quick haul of everything that I brought. I did go to Target yesterday and I did not put my stuff up. So while it's right here, I guess I'll show y'all that too. 
but a uh, majority of it is for my trips so I picked up a new um, Morphe foundation I took it out the box so I can't remember the um, color of this one um, but I'll tell y'all when I can read that I can't see that but anyway I got the foundation brush Morphe brush and then I brought two more brushes and then I brought from Target I brought these um, earrings that were really really cute nice size I brought these because they didn't have my regular razors these are the Venus Vera Bradley um, first time using these so I don't know but I actually found my good ones so um, then I picked up for my trip some little q-tips I picked up the little Listerine I picked up two of these I have two in the bathroom already I'll be taking I picked up a little um, the clinical strength secrets deodorant picked that up my husband picked him up some deodorant and we actually picked up two of these he picked up one and I did um, I use these which are really really good to recycle I usually put my lotion or gel in it and it's very good because you can just open up the top and then you can um, squeeze it out so easy to feel these are so convenient they are only a dollar at Target so in their travel size section so these were really really good so I picked up three of those and I will use, and I think I have one in my bathroom already, but I'll use two for lotion and one for gel. Or if I have one in there, I'll use these three for lotion and then the other one in there for gel. But I brought these traveling size um, shaving, shaving cream. This is the EOS. So I picked up two of those. Y'all, is it just me? But I have to take... Well, you, normally when I go places, I'll go to like Walgreens, Target or somewhere and pick up some hand soap so that when you use the washroom, you can wash your hands. I told y'all my OCD is really, really bad. So that is normally what I do, but I'll be taking this one so that when I get to the hotel, I'll already have it. So that's what that is. Um, I picked up some Nair for my husband back. Just saying. Um, picked up some Ziploc bags because this is what I put all my little trinkets in, my lotion and everything so it don't leak out. We picked up some soap, oil of Olay. Then I picked up some Aveeno. They didn't have the smaller one. Normally I use the smaller one when I travel, but I couldn't find the small one. And we picked up some spoons because we needed some, some forks. I love traveling with these because it makes, um, if your nose is running, sneezing, coughing, whatever, I have my Kleenex with me. And then I picked up, this is for home, some um, rubber gloves for my cleaning. My husband picked up him some cereal. I can't stand cereal, but he loves cereal, him and my daughter. And then I got the cotton nail. Um, these are flushable wipes. These are good for when you use the washroom. Keep yourself nice and fresh, people. I got the makeup remover. I got two of these. And then we picked up some toothpaste. And then today, I picked up some more masks. I don't know why, because I have a lot, but these were on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try them out. So I picked up that one. And I picked up a red one. So I have those. Then I picked this up, some Philips uh, Milk of Magnesia because I suffer with chest pains, heartburn really bad. So I'm going to leave this one sealed and I'll take this on my trip. So I'll have that. And then I have the Pepto-Bismol tablets. I'll be taking these on our trip. So being prepared for whatever. These are the razors I like. These are the Skin to Mate Bloom. And they didn't have them at my regular Target. I think I'm going to have to start switching Targets. But, um, and my local grocery store, for that matter. I went into my old one, and it's so nice. So I think I'm going to start going back there. But anywho, uh, pick this up. These are my razors that I like. These are reusable. I mean, um, disposable. 
and you get four cartridges so I got those then I picked up because I have to do my nails I picked up some nail polish remover and I picked this up this is um, elf poreless putty primer so I said I was gonna try that um, so I picked that up then I picked up some coconut curls conditioner because I have two units I want to wash I actually watched so many last week and I just let them air dry and then I picked up the um, shampoo and then I picked up y'all remember I said I needed some new tweezers so these are the tweezers that I like Revlon I can't find my other ones and I know as soon as I open up these I'll find my other ones but anywho that's what I got from Target from Sally Beauty Supply Store I picked up a shower cap and I picked up some bobby pins. I picked up some, said I was gonna try this. Um, this is um, Thermal Shield Heat Protector by Cantu She Butter. So I'm gonna try this today when I do my hair because I'm actually going to blow dry it. And I picked up this um, olive oil mousse for my units. And then I picked up some nail glue because I'm gonna put on some tips or some not tips, but some um, nails. So I picked that up from Sally. And then I picked up some milk. Although I picked up one, but I was like, let me get another one. And I picked up some because I have to leave chocolate alone, y'all. I can't deal with all that chocolate. My tummy won't let me. And I be craving something sweet. So I was looking for the Lorna Dawn cookies, but they didn't have any. So I picked these up, the butter cookies. So, and these are low in calories, only 150 per servings. Um, so I don't know how many is per serving. Five cookies, so that's good. Five cookies is 150 calories. So all I'll be wanting is like two or three and I'll be good. I just need a, a sweet fix. So I got that. I'm going to put this stuff away and then I am going to um, fix me something to eat, some leftovers really quick. And then I will start getting my suitcase together, I guess. Yeah. And then I need to do my hair. So... Yep, so let me do that. It is going on 148 and I will talk to y'all when I get into wrapping, I mean into wrapping, into um, starting to pack for my suitcase. So I'll be back. Okay y'all, so I am in the room packing my stuff and I guess I'll turn on some light in here. Um, so I have a love-hate relationship with Chanel perfume. I don't know. This is the Chance Chanel. I don't know why it's not picking up this pink though. But for some reason, I don't like it. I thought I was going to love it. And I don't. Shh, don't tell my husband. I, um, he had brought me some Chanel perfume a while ago. And for some reason, I just couldn't get with the smell. It just made me so nausea. It just, oh my God, the smell just really threw me off. And I was like, I can't do it. So, I think um, I might be all out of my other one. Darn it. I thought I had a little bit left in it. I thought I was going to take that one on my trip with me. But, it don't look like I have it anymore. Okay, so, I guess I won't be taking that perfume. Um, oh, actually, I think I might have it in my office. Let's see. Y'all, cross your fingers. I hope I have it in here. Oh, I do. So, I'll be taking my YSL. I have enough. Oh, let me go out. I have enough in here. So, I'll be taking this one instead of the other one. I love the YSL. I have to give me some more of that one. It's like almost gone. But it's enough for the trip. So I'll be taking that. 
so I am going to be getting my swimsuits ready although I don't swim but I'm gonna lay out on the beach so I'm gonna get those together I got my outfits together I have my okay so I actually was going through my suitcases I always put me a lining down um, of a towel with my clothes that sit on top of it I don't know why again that's my OCD kicking in and I always leave something in my pockets and this time it was my um, that I didn't use my dirty bag uh, for my dirty clothes and then in this bag I just unzipped it and I find all my other bags and my shoe bag my clothing bags so I'll be using those and makeup bags so I'll be using those and I'm gonna start packing my stuff up in this suitcase which I won't be needing any heavy clothes so I got a lot of swimsuits I think I got like one two three I'm sorry y'all so I got one two dick one two three four five so I'll be putting those in there better than that I got that one I got some more and I got my cover-ups that I'll be packing then I have my I brought these t-shirts from Target yesterday. They're really nice and soft. They're only $5. Nice and stretchable. So if y'all need some tank tops, I suggest you go to Target and get them. They got them in every color. I love this brown one. And yep, just a little simple tank top. Um, got that one. Got this orange one. I said it'd go cute with some blue jean shorts. And I got a black one. And then my shorts are old from last year. So I have one, two, three, four pair of shorts, which is right here. And then I have three dresses. One, two, and I have that black one I, I'm, I'm taking from um, Shein. And then I have some more stuff from Shein that I tried on, my try on haul. So I'll be taking that stuff as well and wearing that. This in case I want to do some yoga down there. I brought these. They were at Target for $7. So I got those. And I'll be taking my YSL heels with my bag. And um, yeah. What else do I have? Let me go ahead and start getting this stuff together. <sighs> oh, we're living in the present. Mm -hmm. But our mind is in the past, past. to see if she could give me a COVID test. A COVID shot, I mean. So guys, I did my first COVID test. Um, gotta nail down. So, I did my first COVID test and it came back Y'all see that? How to focus. Hey, came back negative. So that was my first ever COVID test um, that you have to take going out of the States. So then you have to take another one coming back into the States. So I washed my stuff and I don't know if it's the fabric softener 
or I don't know if that's what that is or if it was my dryer was too hot but it looked like it kind of burnt burnt it right there but that's okay we're gonna make it do what it do I have so many cover-ups you won't even be able to see it no way when I come back off of vacation I will do a haul with my swimsuits a try on haul depending on how my belly is looking <laughs> if my belly is uh, looking big I won't all my shorts are from shorts from last year nothing spectacular about that taking so I'll go on my carry-on 